Hey, hey, welcome back to In A Me Kitchen. So today I'm going to prepare um, roast fish and I got this fish from the market and it was already scale. But I'm just, you know, doing a next check to see all of the scale is removed and then I'm going to wash it with some vinegar so that all the rawness can be removed and prepare it for you. So stay tuned. So these are the ingredients you will need for this dish. We have a big two pound pie fish, black pepper, pimento, and as you can see, it's not a lot, but that can do for now. Some fish seasoning, and guys, um, I'm doing this the night before because I wanted to marinate because I love my meat to be marinated but as you can see the lighting is not good but it will get better I promise you all-purpose seasoning some salt ground seasoning your scallion thyme onion green pepper scotch bonnet pepper and garlic okay guys so now that you know all the season that we have um we're gonna go ahead and season our fish and i know many people season their meat differently but you know vanessa got her whole way and i'm just gonna season the fish with the seasonings that I list out before. I'm gonna put season on the top of the fish, the bottom of the fish and also inside. Remember to do inside because you want that fish to absorb all of that seasoning so that the flavor can you know pop out of that fish and yeah so as I said um I don't know if I told you guys but I'm trying to you know change my diet because I realize I've been consuming a lot of meat, like a lot of chicken. Like I will eat chicken like seven days a week and I just want to change my diet. So maybe you see a lot of seafood cooking from now on. I'm not going to promise, but yeah. So this is just a simple recipe that I learned back in school and I used to also jerk chicken and um roast fish with some friends and we used to eat and have you know so i have a good time so i'm just going back to the roots you know that i know and as you can see guys now i'm just cutting up all of my ground seasoning and i'm gonna put you know a few pepper in there because i told you guys i like spices so you don't have to put any spatch bonnet pepper in there but a little spice will give that good flavor that i want to taste and i'm just going to use my hand i'm going to rub it all the season in i'm going to rub inside and out and then i'm going to stuff that fish with all of the ground seasoning so that the fish can absorb all of that flavor and then i'm also going to go ahead and you know prepare it for tomorrow so i'm just going to get um flame wrap and i'm going to secure that fish in that bowl you know we don't want the fish swimming nowhere so <laughs> secure that fish and let it marinate for a while hey guys it's the morning now so i'm gonna go ahead and do my pre-stuff and i'm gonna steam some color loo. i'm not gonna cook it right through but i'm just gonna use you know um three simple ingredients i'm gonna put butter black pepper and salt and allow it to sit for a little while not too long because i don't want it to cook right out because i'm going to stuff it into the fish so just about five minutes maybe and if you look at that you can see that it is ready and i'm going to do the next step okay guys so i'm going to cut up some vegetable and this is for the after like after the fish is roasted so i'm going to do some okra I'm gonna put it in one bowl and I'm also gonna um, cut up some carrots and I'm not just gonna cut it you know just any size really doesn't really matter and I'm gonna put it in the same bowl that I put the okra in because I want to cook those first because 
their their texture is much different from the other stuff i'm gonna go ahead and cut some pumpkin and i'm gonna do it in big chunks because i don't want it to you know mash out too much i also don't want it to be too big um i'm gonna do some squash and cut it into the same size as the pumpkin put that in the same bowl as the pumpkin but differently from the okra and i'm also gonna cut some onion some scallion pepper sweet pepper and there's also thyme in this and that goes in one bowl because you're gonna put that after you know the okra and the carrot has been slightly cooked so i'm adding butter and salt to a pot of boiling water and I'm going to add the okra and the carrots to the pot and I'm also going to use some vegetable soup mix to you know give it the flavor just put about a spoon in there I'm going to give it a stir cover that and make it come to a boil and just for about five minutes I'm going to leave it there because as I said I want the okra and the carrot to be you know more cooked than the squash and the pumpkin because you know those stuff is very easy to cook and you don't want it to be um mashed out so it's been five minutes and as you can see that thick nice you know soupy looking thing and i'm gonna go ahead and add the remaining ingredients add a tubs of water just so that the additional vegetable can be covered up i'm gonna give that you know just five minutes to cook through remember you don't want it to overcook because you don't want the squash and the pumpkin to be very soft okay so while that is cooking i'm just gonna go ahead and prepare that fish look at that fish well seasoned so fully mar marinated i'm gonna use you know two layer of foil paper and this one paper is a very big one so um and the fish is very big so you have to choose a very big for a paper i'm going to put some bottom um butter on the bottom and i'm going to plate paste it so that you know the fish can lay straight on top of that butter and i'm also going to take my color and stuff it yeah look at that steam coming out of the color and stuff that fish stuff it stuff it and then i'm going to take the vegetables not the vegetable but the seasoning that was there and i'm going to place it on top of my fish and i'm going to roll it together and secure that fish in the bell paper yeah look at that all coming together ready for the oven mm. place that fish in an already preheated oven we're going to go back and check that vegetable on top and as you can see it is ready I'm going to turn that stove off and allow it to sit until the fish is ready. So after about eight minutes, I'm going to check the fish and <laughs> never use wet cloth. I knew this, but I was reminded. But if you can see, the fish is you know, almost done. I like, probably just need like five minutes. So I'm just going to give it five more minutes and then come back and check on it again. Who hit? Who is ready for some rose fish look at that look at all the juice look at the steam mm. now i'm just gonna plate this i don't even have plate that is big enough for this fish so i'm just gonna put it in this thing here mm, look at that thank you guys for watching please remember to like share subscribe Hit that notification bell so whenever I release a new video, you will be the first to know.